Hi everyone, this is example 6 on the flow meters. A pitot static tube with pitot coefficient 0.992 is connected to an inverted U tube containing oil of specific gravity 0.91. Find the velocity of flowing water if the manometer reading is 127 mm. So this is the figure that describes this problem. So we write energy equation between points 1 and 2, datum through 1 and 2. So we have velocity head at 1, pressure head at 1, elevation head at 1, which is 0, equals velocity head at 2, which is 0, because this is the stagnation point, pressure head at 2, elevation head at 2, which is also 0. So the computed value here is not yet the final answer because there is a coefficient. So we, we will adjust the velocity, calculated velocity at 1 by multiplying it by this coefficient of pitot tube. So substitute V1 square over 2G plus pressure head at 1 plus 0 equals 0 plus pressure head at 2 plus 0. So therefore, V sub 1 is square root of 2G quantity P sub 2 over gamma of water minus P sub 1 over gamma. Now to determine this pressure head difference, we sum up pressure from point 1 along the inverted U tube down to this point here, which is also equal to the pressure at 2. So pressure at 1 minus gamma of water, because this is water, times Y, and minus gamma, this is oil, times Z, and we jump across to this point because these two points have the same uh, pressure, same level. Then plus gamma of water times quantity Z plus Y equals pressure at 2. So we have P1 to the right. So what is left here? Uh, this term, negative specific weight of water Y and we have positive specific weight of water y uh, can be cancelled. So what is left is negative gamma of oil z plus gamma of water z equals p sub 2 minus p sub 1. Dividing everything by gamma of water, we have negative so z plus z equals pressure head at 2 in meters minus pressure head at 1 in meters. Remember that specific weight of oil divided by specific weight of water after we divide this equation with gamma of water is specific gravity of oil. That's why I replace it with specific gravity of oil. And of course, this one will become Z only. So factoring out Z, and we have Z1 minus SO equals pressure head at 2 minus pressure head at 1, which is this value here. So we now have V1 equals square root of 2G, 2GZ, quantity 1 minus SO. So the corrected velocity V is C sub B times V1, which is square root of 2GZ times quantity 1 minus SO. Substitute all these values here. So V is 0 0.992 times square root of 19.62 times 0.127 times quantity 1 minus 0.91. So V is 0.4698 meter per second. So that's it.